Now, I'm really lucky because in the last five years, I've become part of the CompTIA organisation. So I joined as a Premier member in the UK and I go to their community events over here. Because I like the way that they work, I got involved with the things that they set up here in the UK. So I sit on the Executive Council and we look at the events that we run for our membership over here and what we do. Because I got involved with that, and it's run from America. Nancy, who is head of communities, she's vice president of communities, she comes over to some of our events. So she'd seen that I take part in it. And when the board of directors were looking for new directors, she came to see me to say, would you be interested in becoming a board of director member? At which point I said, yes, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, and that got me onto the board of directors. So from the board of directors, I sit on that board of directors, we're the vice president of Dell, vice president of Hewlett Packard in Canada, um, vice president of a, a company called Ingram Micros, who are one of the world's largest IT distributors, as well as some smaller companies. But it's got me in front of the world's biggest tech companies. So I train now for Apple, for Kaspersky, for Ricoh, for Xerox, for Continuum, and last year I got to go and speak at Google's head offices in Ireland and they were running a partner day so a lot of my training that I do for CompTIA and for their members is about business development training so I teach people how to do account management I teach people about business agility, operational efficiency, about cyber security the first time I pick these up, it's great because I get to learn a little bit more. So the stats that I gave you about IoT were because I went to do a talk in Barcelona last year for a company called Kaseya, who are a global IT vendor, and they write software that monitors networks and monitors machines and things. And they, all these big companies, they have partner network events probably two or three times a year, every year. Um, and they wanted me to talk about IoT. So I get given the stats, I learn it, I present it. But it's fantastic. Um, but I got to speak at Google because they had a partner event. Now, if you ever, ever get to do anything with Google, do it. Go and see their offices because the way they work is absolutely fantastic. And you go over there and they have, it's like a city, it's a campus. They call it the Google campus. And it's so big, they have 3,500 employees there and they're split on buildings that are either side of the road. And because they take up so much space and there are so many people always needing to move, they've built a sky bridge. So they've built a glass sky bridge that connects the buildings from one side of the road to the other that's all lit up at night. But I was lucky enough to be given a tour by one of the guys that, that works there and they are so different as an employer. They have no expectation of the time that somebody comes into work or goes home. They just expect people to do their work. So when you go in, it's all open plan. And everything is done on Google Apps. They have no telephones on their desks. They use their computers to, to set up Skype calls and things. But they do it through all the Google Apps. They have um, two cafes within the building that are fully subsidised. So you can go and get breakfast, whether it's cold or whether it's hot. You can go and get lunch, and you can get Chinese, Indian, English, hot food, cold food, virtually you name it, it's there. You can go and get lunch, and you can get dinner at night. You do not pay for a thing. Google pay for the whole lot. So as an employee, they get so many benefits, that's untrue. Um, so they, they've got a swimming pool, they've got a gym, they've got bars, so they've got pool tables, they've got foosball. You can go and sit in a bar, and have a drink with your mates and go back and do a bit of work. There is nothing there that tells them that they have to do a piece of work. 